when covering the annotation dot, we talked about an issue of not being able to get the font styles that we want. This was because we could only get fonts that were in the fonts folder and not the sub fonts that are in the families. This time we'll cover how you can style your fonts and get the results that you want. We will be using the model font component for this. The model font component has seven pass-through inputs. You have the font and font family as text, an integer to select the font width, this means the regular, thin, ultra bold, etc. So basically how thick your font is. Then you have the font style, which is also an integer that you use to select the onset, upright, which is the default style, italic or oblique. Then you have a third integer parameter, which is the font stretch. It also has 10 options, but I'm not going to go through them here because it has very limited use cases. Then you have two boolean values, underline and strike out. Here is how I have applied the component. I have created two planes slightly apart from each other. I use these to place my text entities. Then I have selected the font that I want to use, which is Leto. It's also the name of the font family. I have selected 7 to be the bold weight and 2 to get the italic style. I am then using the annotation text settings to change the font and pass the text settings to the text entity at the top. And as you see, the style has now been applied to the text.